I am just so pleased that it is an official selection of the Cleveland International Film Festival! Hi, this is Megan Early, and this is a buzz for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! April 3rd, the last day of the 35th Cleveland International Film Festival. Yesterday, we honored Dave Boyle with the third of our Someone to Watch Awards. Boyle's feature film debut, Big Dreams Little Tokyo, won accolades for its deaf portrayal of clashing cultures. You know, he was like right in front of my face. So I didn't even think about it at first. And I can't remember when I emailed you. Uh, but I was like, hey, remember the Someone to Watch Award program that we do? How about you being one of them this year? And uh, he is. And uh, <laughs> so, Dave Boyle. Dave Boyle. I'm really not used to winning awards, especially um, something as beautiful as this. Uh, usually the kind of awards I win, you know, I just want to hang them in the bathroom or something. <laughs> this, this, this goes in the front room. If I had a front room, I could have been already there. Boyle's third film, Surrogate Valentine, is playing at 11.45 a.m. And you can also see Big Dreams Little Tokyo at 2.15 p.m. and White on Rice at 4.25 p.m. today. On to our local heroes, Kim Ann Fo stopped in to talk with us about the Ohio Shorts program and her nine-minute film, John Ewing, The Cantoneers. Kim has been a festival attendee for years and she is actually part of our story this year. That's, that's such an honor to, to be here. I've, I've been coming for 12, I don't know, 14 years, um, going all 64 rounds. It used to be 61 rounds, but now there's 64. Um, and now to be a part of this from another angle is just so great. It, it's priceless. I have a short film program down in Stark County and I had some filmmakers tell me about a year, a couple years ago, that just get up and do it. Get out there and make a film because you never know um, when the subject that you want could be gone. And there's so many stories that are just slipping through our fingers if we don't get out there and get them done. So pick up a camera, get out there and do it. From filmmakers to fitness demonstrations, and from bone marrow matches to chess matches, we've met so many heroes, rebels, and lovers over the past 10 days. One and all are welcome to be part of the story as we celebrate the end of another great record-breaking festival year. Join us in Tower City by the Grand Staircase for our closing night reception at 9 p.m. And now, without further ado, this is Bill's Best Bet the final edition for the 35th Cleveland International Film Festival. At 9.35 a.m., Vincent Wants to See is back by popular demand. The late addition to the Sunday's lineup is a charming comedy about Vincent who suffers from Tourette syndrome and the search for happiness. Welcome to Shelbyville at 11.30 a.m. This documentary takes us to a Tennessee town dealing with cultural differences after a recent influx of Somalis. At 2 p.m., The Other F Word, a coming of middle age story, shows the softer side of punk. Famous anarchists, including Flea, Rise Again's Tim McIlrath, and Pennywise's Jim Lindbergh, are featured in this documentary about how raising children can change even the toughest of men. At 4.30 p.m., don't miss the Shorts Audience Awards, which is a collection of favorite short films. At 6.45 p.m., An Earthly Paradise for the Eyes is a dark comedy focusing on a mother and her two daughters who are caught up in the 1968 Russian invasion of Czechoslovakia. And with that, we wrap up the 35th Cleveland International Film Festival. Be sure to join us tonight at the Fountain for our closing night reception at 9 p.m. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter throughout the year, and we'll see you again this time next year.